the James Webb Space Telescope, renowned for its diverse mission objectives, including the quest for extraterrestrial life, might have made a groundbreaking discovery, according to Niku Madhusudan. Madhusudan, who's the professor of astrophysics and exoplanetary science. A professor of astrophysics and exoplanetary science at the University of Cambridge. He suggests that K218b, a planet situated 120 light years away, could be teeming with life as we speak, not just remnants of past existences. This notion isn't new. For years, humanity has speculated about life beyond Earth, imagining everything from Martian fossils to aquatic aliens beneath icy moons. However, the case of K218b stands out, initially leaving even Madhusudan skeptical of his own findings. Madhusudan's astonishment stemmed from data suggesting the presence of biosignatures on K218b, markers previously only associated with life on Earth. This led to a flurry of excitement and debate within the scientific community, with some endorsing the findings as evidence of extraterrestrial life and others cautioning against premature conclusions. K218b, discovered in 2015, is over twice Earth's size and exhibits water vapor in its atmosphere, making it an ideal subject for the James Webb Space Telescope's scrutiny. The detection of methane and carbon dioxide alongside dimethyl sulfide DMS, a compound produced by life on Earth, suggests K218b's potential for harboring life, despite its orbit around a red dwarf star known for emitting life-hostile radiation. Yet, the planet's position in the habitable Goldilocks zone and its similarity to Earth in terms of radiation exposure hint at the possibility of life. Despite the optimism surrounding these findings, the scientific community remains divided. Some researchers argue that the detected biosignatures, particularly DMS, could be explained by non-biological processes, such as the planet being a lava world. Nevertheless, if DMS's presence is confirmed, K218b would become a prime candidate in the search for extraterrestrial life. The James Webb Space Telescope's ongoing observations of K218b promise to shed more light on this mystery. Future results could either redefine our understanding of life in the universe or lead to a re-evaluation of K218b's habitability. Regardless of the outcome, this inquiry underscores the importance of rigorous scientific evidence in validating claims of extraterrestrial life and the enduring human quest to discover whether we are alone in the cosmos. The intrigue surrounding K218b and the possibility of life there hinges on a combination of its unique characteristics and the unprecedented capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Here's a deeper dive into the elements that make this discovery so compelling. K218b's unique profile. K218b is classified as a super-Earth or mini-Neptune, significantly larger than Earth but smaller than the ice giants of our solar system, Neptune and Uranus. Its discovery in 2015 by the Kepler Space Telescope marked it as an object of interest due to the detection of water vapor in its atmosphere, a promising sign of potential habitability. One of the planet's most fascinating aspects is its location in the habitable zone of its host star, a red dwarf. This zone is the orbital range where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface, a crucial factor for life as we know it. Red dwarf stars, though smaller and cooler than our Sun, often emit powerful solar flares that could strip away the atmospheres of closely orbiting planets, making the prospects for life seem bleak. However, K218b's specific conditions, including its atmospheric composition and the nature of its orbit, suggest it might just withstand such challenges. The Role of JWST The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in December 2021, represents a leap forward in our ability to study distant worlds. Equipped with a suite of advanced instruments, it can capture light across a wide spectrum, from visible to mid-infrared, allowing it to analyze the chemical makeup of exoplanet atmospheres with unprecedented detail. 
In the case of K218b, JWST's observations have been pivotal. The telescope's sensitivity to various biosignatures, chemical compounds associated with life, enabled the detection of methane, carbon dioxide, and notably dimethyl sulfide, DMS, in the planet's atmosphere. DMS on Earth is primarily produced by marine microorganisms, making its potential presence on K218b a tantalizing hint at biological processes, scientific caution, and excitement. Despite the excitement, the scientific community remains cautious. The detection of these compounds, while suggestive of life, does not serve as definitive proof. Methane and carbon dioxide can be produced through non-biological processes and even DMS's detection needs further confirmation and study to rule out abiotic sources. Moreover, the debate continues over whether K218b is more akin to a water world with vast global oceans or a sub-Neptune with a thick gaseous envelope that could preclude a solid surface. Both scenarios present different implications for the possibility of life. Looking ahead, the WST's ongoing and future observations of K218b will be crucial. Scientists hope to gather more data on the planet's atmospheric composition and dynamics, seasonal changes, and perhaps even clues to its surface conditions. These findings will help refine models of K218b's environment and its capacity to support life. In parallel, this research will advance our understanding of exoplanets in general, informing the search for life beyond Earth. Whether K218b ultimately proves to host life or not, its study represents a significant step forward in our quest to answer one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? It seems like you're interested in diving even deeper into the topic. Let's explore some additional facets that make the study of K218b and planets like it a cornerstone of contemporary astrophysics and astrobiology. Advanced Detection Techniques The study of exoplanets like K218b relies heavily on advanced detection and observation techniques. One of the primary methods used by astronomers to discover exoplanets is the transit method, where telescopes like Kepler and TESS, transiting exoplanet survey satellite, monitor stars for slight dips in brightness, indicating a planet passing in front of the star from our perspective. This method not only allows scientists to find planets, but also to estimate their sizes and orbital periods. The spectroscopy capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope take these observations a step further by analyzing the starlight that filters through a planet's atmosphere during transit. Different chemicals in the atmosphere absorb light at specific wavelengths, leaving distinctive fingerprints that can tell scientists a lot about the atmosphere's composition. The Significance of Water Vapor The detection of water vapor in the atmosphere of K218b is particularly significant because water is a key ingredient for life as we know it. The presence of water vapor indicates that the planet has the right conditions for water to exist in its atmosphere and possibly on the surface if the planet has a surface. This finding adds K218b to a relatively short list of exoplanets where water vapor has been detected, highlighting its potential for further study in the context of habitability. Challenges of habitability While the discovery of water vapor and other chemicals in the atmosphere of K218b is intriguing, there are significant challenges to habitability on such planets. The high pressure and temperatures at the depths where water would be liquid, the potential for a thick hydrogen envelope, and the intense radiation from its red dwarf star are all factors that could make the surface environment hostile to life as we know it. The Future of Exoplanet Research the ongoing study of K218b is part of a larger effort to understand the diversity of planets in our galaxy. Each discovery adds to our knowledge of how planets form and evolve, the range of possible environments, and the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. Future missions, such as the planned Aerial Space Telescope, Atmospheric Remote Sensing Infrared Exoplanet Large Survey, 
will build on the work of JWST and other telescopes to provide even more detailed analyses of exoplanet atmospheres. The search for exoplanets and the study of their atmospheres have profound philosophical and societal implications. Discoveries like K218b challenge our understanding of our place in the universe and the uniqueness of Earth as a habitat for life. They also raise questions about how we search for life, the types of life we might find, and how we would interpret, understand, and engage with evidence of life beyond Earth. The quest to understand K218b and other exoplanets is a journey that not only pushes the boundaries of our scientific capabilities, but also invites us to reflect on the broader questions of existence, life, and our connection to the cosmos.